it's hard when your toes get to talking and your legs get to walking and your luck run out like oh no what's up youtube retro bro here and today i'm gonna give you a review on captain america civil war of course for those that didn't see it now i will say right now there will be some spoilers in this review i repeat again there will be spoilers in this review so if you do not want to hear the spoilers please leave and come back after you've seen the movie then you can discuss in the comment sections below some of the things you liked and disliked about the movie anyhow let's go ahead and carry on so this movie was amazing at first i thought it was just going to be okay and i thought everyone was overhyping it because i've listened to a lot of reviews people really sold it well and the thing i kept hearing was the best superhero movie of the year so to me saying best superhero movie of the year is almost like giving a game a perfect 10. so i was a little bit skeptical i was like okay deadpool was amazing and hilarious so i seriously doubt this is going to be best movie of the year as far as superhero movies will go but i'm glad to say i was wrong no this was definitely movie of the year now was it as funny as deadpool absolutely not but they did really good story writing in here and all the characters that were on screen had a decent amount of screen time so you kind of get a good taste of what every character can do they all have a bit of dialogue everyone gets a fair share of their limelight and i think that amount of balance is what really made this movie do so well not to mention they had spider-man in here and let's be honest spider-man is the poster boy for marvel so having spider-man in here definitely got people in the seats at least i'll speak for myself and say it definitely got me into the seat and then they had black panther yes black panther not only for is black panther raw for those of you that never read any of his comics played them in any video games or anything like that but in this movie they showed that he was raw like his combat was no joke his suit is made of like a metallic armor that's similar to the same material as captain america's shield so it's a very powerful suit as it is but in this movie he fights without the suit in a couple of scenes and he still beats people just as badly as he did as if he was in the suit which is really impressive now something else i wanted to address about this movie that i thought was really nice was that it was a fresh concept of what they did with spider-man and aunt may they had a new spider-man in this movie so it wasn't um the dude from the first spider-man series it's not the dude from the amazing spider-man series but they had this kid play spider-man and he did a really good job like he was the exact way spider-man is if you ever watched any of the 90s cartoons that used to come on fox kids and stuff or if you ever read his comics or played in the video games when he's spider-man he's obnoxious he was talking crash while beating the crap out of people to the point that they were angry and were telling him to shut up like that's what spider-man's supposed to be he's supposed to be obnoxious when he fights people while telling jokes that makes us the audience laugh and he did that really well and Aunt May was really, really young, too. Like, not a little young, but really young. Aunt May in this movie looked like she was maybe late 20s, early 30s, which doesn't fit any comic continuity that I can remember, but she was pretty hot, so I think we'll all let that slide. Now, Captain America is something I really didn't like in this movie, personally, as a character, because... The whole thing with Captain America here was, yeah, he opposed Iron Man's idea of, you know, conforming to the government and working under the government like police and stuff would to be superhero enforcement. But his reasoning for doing so was not the same way as the comics went. Like, the way it is in the comic book, Iron Man had good reasons for doing what he was doing and Captain America had good reasons of doing what he was doing. Mainly, captain america's take in the comic is that as superheroes we shouldn't work with the government because if the government wants to do anything under the table then we're forced to do it because we now work under them or we would have to reveal our secret identities to everyone which means that people would know who you are they'll know who your family are and villains can go after your family to get to you or attack you any time of the day because they now know your identity now this makes a lot of sense and it makes it to where in the comic 
you're torn between Captain America and an Iron Man because Captain America makes sense that as a superhero, revealing your identity screws you and the people you love over. And Iron Man saying that we're too powerful, we have to work with the government to make people feel safe around us. So they both had good points. But in this movie, that's not the direction they go. In this movie, Captain America comes out like a self-righteous prick, to my personal opinion. His reasoning for not joining with Iron Man and everyone else under the government is mainly because he wants to help the Winter Soldier, which is the stupidest thing ever to me. Like, I understand Winter Soldier was a good friend of his, but it's like he's going out of his way to help somebody that's a dangerous criminal. They already show us in the movie that Winter Soldier, when a certain code is said, becomes a mindless machine with no control just killing everything and anyone in his path which makes him dangerous now keep in mind iron man working with the government wasn't planning to kill him they were going to contain him which somebody that dangerous that can't control their powers should be contained so they don't hurt innocent people so the direction they went with why captain america fought against iron man and the government made it a stupid concept because it just made I, it just made Captain America seem like a prick and it didn't really have a good reason to fight against the government. It just made it like, oh, this is my best friend. I don't care that he's doing wrong. I'm going to help him no matter what, which is really stupid for a hero of his stature to be the reasoning to why you're going to take on the government and all your friends that you fought by for years. But I mean, other than that, the movie is amazing. A lot of the action scenes are good. There were some jokes that were pretty funny, which I didn't expect. I didn't think I was going to laugh because I've seen a lot of other Marvel movies where I've never laughed at the joke. So this was pretty fresh because other than Deadpool, I think this is the second time I've watched a Marvel movie and actually laughed. So that felt really good. But anyhow, put down in the comment section below for those of you that checked out this movie. What did you like about the movie? And what are some of your complaints and stuff? Oh, one thing I wanted to say before I closed out too. Another thing that would have been cool that they had in the comics for Civil War that they didn't have in the movies, and I totally understand why they didn't have it in the movies, was that villains were working with the government in the Civil War in the comics. And I understand why they didn't do that in the movies. I mean, with the amount of heroes they had, it would have been doing too much for a movie to have all these heroes, all these villains, then they try to share the screen time between all of them. Plus it would cost a lot. So I totally understand why they didn't do that, but it would have been cool. And that is another difference because villains were actually working with the government because it gave them the opportunity to, you know, attack heroes legally. But anyhow, in the comment section below, put down what you liked about Civil War if you saw it and some of the things that you nitpick about or complain about that you didn't like about the movie and for those of you that haven't seen it yet let me know if you're going to check it out anyhow I'm Retro Bro and I am signing out